Is it possible a dead child named David is haunting the life of a comic illustrator? Or are all these Twitter posts telling us this creepy ghost story some kind of big fat hoax? I've got answers to that social media mystery, plus answers on a couple other weird things that you guys sent in. Like this picture that claims this creepy tree is the real deal, and another photo that wants us to believe this giant cow is not photoshopped. I've got all that, plus new fan art, and my favorite fake of the week, so stay right where you are. <laughs> Hey guys, Bill here. We're gonna be getting down and dirty with Dear David in just a second. But first, I wanna introduce you to a brand new sponsor here at Bill's channel, Audible. Audible is the place I go for books I can listen to on any device, anytime, anywhere. And I mean, and I mean anywhere. anywhere. They have a huge library of just about anything with lots of great stuff for kids and young adults. Right now, I'm listening to one of my favorite stories, Mothman, right here in the middle of the jungle. I can also listen to full-length books, original audio shows, news, comedy, and a whole lot more. Like Audible Originals, which are like these exclusive titles created by celebrated storytellers from all sorts of areas like journalism, literature, theater, and who knows, maybe someday I'll be reading something on here. Hmm? I really love Audible, and I know you will too, so listen up. Get your first audiobook for free by trying Audible for 30 days. All you have to do is click on my link below or go to audible.com slash Bill's Channel. And if you live in the U.S., you can just text Bill's Channel to 500-500. How easy is that? Can you imagine listening to stories about megalodons? How about dinosaurs or even Slenderman? Audible's got you covered. So what do you say? Click on that link, head on over to audible.com slash Bill's channel or text Bill's channel to 500-500 right now. Okay, so now speaking of stories, what about this Dear David thing? Well, it actually began about a year and a half ago when a comic illustrator named Adam Ellis began a series of posts on Twitter about a child ghost named David. He said the child ghost was trying to kill him and posted pictures of this scary little visitor almost daily. Millions of views later, Dear David became a pop culture phenomenon and now there's even a Dear David movie in the works. SFGate.com is reporting that Ellis struck a deal to bring the spooky story to the silver screen. Lots of you guys have been writing in and asking me to take a look at this social media sensation, including Mythic Gaming, Mr. Kebab, and Scooby Snacks. Scooby wrote, hey Bill, I was wondering if Dear David is real or just BFF? Well, guys, you know, I got to tell you, this Dear David subject is really huge, maybe even too big for us. I mean, Adam Ellis posted hundreds of photos and little video clips about this little creepy ghost named David. But you know what? Even as big as it is, I think the ROF team and especially myself want to know what the truth is. So what do you say we take a closer look? <laughs> Taking a closer look at this story, we see Adam posted his first tweet on the subject in August of 2017. It read, so my apartment is currently being haunted by the ghost of a dead child and he is trying to kill me. The dead child, as we all know, is called David. And according to Ellis, you can ask David two questions and he will try to answer you. But if you ask him three questions, he won't answer you, but instead he will kill you. Now, for unknown reasons, Ellis decided to ask David three questions, and thus began the haunting. Over the course of the next year or so, Adam continues to post videos and tweets about his struggle with the little ghost. In this video, he claims to show a rocking chair moving back and forth with nobody sitting in it. This one claims to show his cat reacting to an invisible presence, and this one claims to show a turtle shell over a bookcase that suddenly just falls off the wall. Adam also decided to use an app on his phone which would take a picture of his bedroom at night every 60 seconds. Most of the photos don't show anything out of the ordinary, but then there are these from the night of December 12, 2017. 
Check out these images of what looks like a young boy in a striped shirt. As you can see, there's a big chunk missing from the side of the child's head, which perfectly matches the sketch that Adam drew of him. In the next few photos, the boy moves closer to the bed where Adam's sleeping, and then he literally passes by in front of the camera, and you can see part of his head and his stringy hair right here. Hmm, that's some pretty creepy stuff, all right. I understand why this thing took the internet by storm, but what are you guys thinking? You thinking true horror, or maybe just another cheesy B movie? Tell you what, I got the official answer right here, but if you watch this show, you know the drill. I can't tell you what's in here until you tell me what you got going on up here, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is just go up here and vote, or leave me your answer down in the comment section, or just yell it out. You ready? And go. Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to vote, I just want to do a quick update on our growing list of animals that use electricity as a weapon. So far, we have the stargazer fish, we have the electric eel, we have the electric ray, and the electric catfish. So now, the suggestions that came in this week, a lot of you guys, like Flaming Master, suggested jellyfish. And, you know, I understand, you know, if you've been stung by a jellyfish, you might think that's an electrical zap it just gave you, but actually it's a, it's a venom, it's a chemical, so it doesn't have anything to do with electricity, unfortunately. Now, Quinn Meany sent in duck-billed platypus. Quinn, that's a very good suggestion because the platypus does use electricity, but it doesn't use it as a weapon. It just uses it to locate prey. So that's not gonna make the list. Now, Yale Reyes said Sasuke and Kakashi. Come on, Yale. I didn't say anime, I said animals. Now, Zaddy Fletch XXX said, humans use electricity when we rub our hair in the trampoline and then zap our friends. Close. Uh, a lot of you guys like Blackbeard said elephant nose fish. Now, uh, apparently a lot of you guys know this fish and you, you know it uses electricity, but the point is it doesn't use it as a weapon. Again, it uses it in what a lot of scientists like to call electrolocation. It uses the electricity to locate its prey, not to zap it or anything like that. So, I don't think we have any new contenders this week, so I'm gonna leave the list open for just one more week. So, if you've got a suggestion of an animal that uses electricity as a weapon, Leave me your suggestion down in the comment section and I'll be reading through those. And if we find another one, we will get to five on our list. Okay, so now that we got all that out of the way, what do you say we get back to the official answer here on Dear David? We got a real creepy little ghost on our hands or maybe another Robert the Doll. <laughs> Don't get him angry. Okay. Uh, all right, well, after a lot of intense research and a lot of debate, the official answer is, and the good news, this is not an unknown, so it's gonna be you know, either or. The official answer is fake. The reason why we are calling the whole series fake is because so many of the pictures and videos that Adam has posted are fake. For example, this picture was shown to be a fake by Twitter user Thirsty for the Alien Goo, who points out Adam's multiple lighting mistakes in Photoshop. This video was shown to be a fake by, again, Twitter user Aaron H., who even created a GIF to show how the quote-unquote turtle shell falling off the wall bit was just an amateurish attempt at special effects. And these photos, which claim to actually show David, were called out on a YouTube channel called Restricted Access for having definitely been tampered with. Okay, so bottom line, you tell me. If somebody is faking the evidence to their story, can this story be true? No, because it's based on fake evidence. What they can do, though, is they can make a movie out of this story, and I, for one, am going to see it because I want to see if the guys who make the movie are as imaginative and creative as Adam Ellis. One category of real or fake entries we see all the time are weird looking trees. From the curved trees of Poland to the strange trees of Indonesia, and even these that some say expose a glitch in the matrix. 
But what about this tree? Is this something out of a movie like Lord of the Rings? Or is it just a really odd twist of nature that created it? The picture was sent in by Dawson Walker 6, who just wrote, Bill, is this tree for real? Well, Dawson, I spend a lot of time in the Amazon, and I can't tell you how many trees I've seen that look like some kind of boogeyman or monster. But this picture, this picture is a little tough to figure out because either it's a case of really good Photoshop or a case of extreme pareidolia. That's that weird thing that your brain can do to you, like, you know, when you're looking at a cloud, but you see a horse when actually it's just a cloud. So what are you guys thinking out there? Are you thinking maybe somebody's really got a tree like this in their backyard? Or is this something that only exists in cyberspace because somebody cooked it up digitally? I'll tell you what, go ahead and leave your votes up here, your answers down in the comment section, or just yell it out to the whole universe. I will get out this and we'll find out what we got going on with that ugly thing. <laughs> well, not that it's ugly, but you know, it's kind of creepy. Anyway. Well, you might be a little bit surprised by this one because the official answer is real. It's called the thinking tree and believe it or not, it's a very old olive tree in Italy. We couldn't find the person who took this picture, but according to the thinking traveler, there are over 50 million olive trees in this region of Italy. So it's no wonder that at least one of them would come out being the poster child for the pareidolia phenomenon. Our last picture of the day has to do with another giant, only in this case, it's a giant cow. The picture was sent in by Gamer of Gamers who just wrote, Hi Bill, I found this picture of a giant cow. Is it real or fake? Well, Gamer, you know, there's a lot of big cows or steers or whatever that thing is out there, but you know, something like this is also very easy to Photoshop because, you know, literally you just like cut a picture of a cow out of one photo and then you paste it into another one, but you know, make it look a lot bigger than the other one. So tell you what, get out your magnifying glasses, get down and dirty with this thing. See if you can see if it's a fake. You know how to do that, right? Look around the edges of the animal and see if there's any blurring because People who fake it, they have to blur it to make it blend in better. Also, look for little digital artifacts, you know, like little pixely kind of things that don't seem to belong in the photo. Once you do that, what I need you to do then is to go up here and vote, real or fake or unknown, could be an unknown, or go down here and leave your answer down here or just yell it out. Now, while you're doing all that, I will very carefully open up this envelope and we will see if we have spotted a fake or been treated with the real deal. And guess what? We've been treated with the real deal. It's real. Thanks to Facebook super sleuths, Sean Stutzel, Atlas Leader, and Marinus Kramer, we now know this giant cow is not the biggest cow in the world, but it is called Big Moo and lives in Australia. Owner Joanne Vine says this gentle giant is over 14 feet or four meters long and almost seven feet or 200 centimeters tall. The title of the world's biggest cow goes to this black and white milkshake machine. Its name is Nickers and it weighs in at over 3,000 pounds or 1,300 kilograms. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video, but hey, if you're thinking about clicking away, do not do that because if you do, you're gonna miss my favorite fake of the week which is coming up in just a few seconds. But first, I just want to give a quick shout out to Manajus Lazauskas and Nefriti Albando for this week's fan art. Montajus sent in this really cool watercolor painting. I mean, you know, it kind of looks like me, don't you think? Montajus has a lot of talent and I want to thank him for this great piece. This other work comes to us from Nefriti Abondo and seems to be counting up the unknowns in the Real or Fake show. And Nefriti asks I bring them back in 2019. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. 
If you have a picture and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because really, the only thing that is going to do is turn me into a mega screamer screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. And now for my favorite fake of the week. It's a video that shows a cheetah chasing a gazelle, which seems, you know, natural enough. But then watch this. Out of the blue, some guy shows up, outruns the cheetah, and grabs the gazelle. Okay, now let's see. Top speed for a cheetah is almost 65 miles per hour or over 100 kilometers per hour. And the world record for a human is just 27 miles per hour or 43 kilometers per hour which makes the cheetah twice as fast as the human. So just say it with me, okay, you ready? So, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny! funny.